Well, I want to share some praises and concerns as we pray together as a church family. Um, prayer has always been an interesting thing to me. Uh, prayer uh, goes up to heaven. It gets put into eternity, and then God responds to it. So what a beautiful resource we have in prayer so that we can, we can pray across the globe, we can pray around the corner, we can pray for future events, we can pray, and, and God will hear our prayers and answer them. And so we have that great hope. Uh, uh, as we listen to the news, uh, maybe your hearts are a little bit lighter. They're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now, maybe, for at least this part of Pennsylvania. Uh, so we're very grateful. We're grateful that God hears our prayers and he's been protecting us. Um, when I came for the first Sunday that we couldn't meet here and, and I went to the Bible here on the altar, I was going to look up Psalm 91 because that's what psalm God put in my heart for this time. Guess what? The Bible's already with the Psalm 91. It was already there. Uh, God, God puts those things into place. And so we're, we're grateful and thankful. And so uh, we continue to be thankful. We do have some needs that we want to mention. But we do have some good news, too. Um, uh, after the last taping, after the last weekend that we taped these messages and concerns, I had a, uh, called up Willis, and all of his tumors are shrinking. And the doctors were amazed. I reminded Willis, don't forget, we prayed. That God had his hand in this too. It's not just what the doctors did. Because that's not what the doctors were expecting. But God is faithful and good to us. Um, also taught to Andy Hansen. His blood work has kind of mellowed out and leveled out a little bit. So, so uh, we're, God is still at work. Um, I have been out jogging in the morning and just praising God for the beautiful flowers and, and the sunrises uh, that I've been able to see. And this morning was no exception to see a beautiful sunrise at, at uh, quarter to six in the morning or six o'clock or seven, quarter to seven and seven o'clock. So it was, it was good to be out and, and doing that. So let's just pray. One of the concerns, some concerns we have. Um, Jesse Smith called me today, and, or maybe last night, and said that her, her brother died. And so we want to pray for them because right now only immediate family can go to the, to the funeral home in Jamestown, New York, and, and only immediate family can gather at the graveside. And so um, just pray for the family as they go through this time. And, and, and you know, most of the people that... Um, had to cut short their grieving process and not have closure because of uh, the restrictions that we have. So we want to pray for the Ed Dunkel family. Uh, we want to pray for those who've had to postpone things because of this. We want to pray for, for them to be well and healthy uh, uh, so that they can continue to be strong. And uh, we want to continue to pray for each other as we go through this. So keep the phone calls going to each other um, and take time to even pray on the phone with them. Is that, can I have a prayer with you? N nobody's ever turned me down that I've asked to have a prayer with them over the phone. And so my visiting these days are by phone and, and so we're glad to do that. Let's pray. You are the God of the oceans, of the universe, of the seas. Everything that is on the earth, both above the earth and on the earth and beneath the earth and in the seas, will bow down to you. And so we bow down to you right now, Father, to say that we love you and we depend on you. And Father, we know that you don't exempt your people from illness and from sicknesses and from diseases. But we're so thankful you walk with us through these things, even death. So we pray for the Dunkel family and Jesse and uh, the others in her family as they uh, try to have a sense of closure and, and, and mourn the loss of a brother and son and grandpa. And, uh, we just pray, Father, that you will bless them. We 
we continue to pray for those with ongoing health issues, Lois and Andy, and um, we just pray, Father, that your hand will be upon them, that you will touch their hearts and their lives as well. We ask, Father, that your presence will be with those who, who need you. We pray, Father, for those who have had to postpone surgeries that they needed. We pray that you will sustain them until such time as they can have those surgeries that, that they need. We thank you, Father, for the doctors, the nurses, the, the policemen, the firefighters, uh, uh, everybody who is still working, engaged with public, whether it's uh, uh, the, the people in the supermarket or uh, people on the front line in terms of treating people. We ask, Father, that you would be with them, encourage them, guard them, and guide them. We ask, Father, that you would be with um, those who have uh, medical issues because of COVID-19. Sustain them, Father. We are so thankful. We're thankful that uh, uh, people are not talking. I mean, we've hit the peak of it, and and uh, maybe we're on the downswing, and, and things can um, ease our minds and our hearts. Thank you, Father, for being with us and walking with us. Pray that you'll be with the leadership of our country and our state and local governments. We pray that all the time, but Father, we know that right now they're making tough decisions, and, and, and Father, they just pray that they make good decisions. Pray, Father, that. Uh, You'll be a voice in their discussions as well. We pray, Father, that uh, you'll be with the men and women who serve our country. Just as you are with those who serve in the medical field right now, who are on the cutting edge and the front lines. We pray, Father, for those who are serving you and guiding you. We ask, Father, that you might touch their lives and that you might be with them. And so, Father, we give you praise and thanks as we bow our knees to you and know that heaven and earth will bow to you and give you praise and thanks for all things. In the name of Christ we pray, amen.